Hi, I'm Jerry Lee. Today I'm going to guide you through the whole process of 3D scanning. This is the foundation module of my Generating Memories workshop. In this workshop, I will reveal the secrets behind new readings fields, pulling counts, and metahuman in Unreal Engine. In this module, I will teach you how to do 3D scanning, so you can prepare your own 3D scans to create artworks or cinematic videos like this, this, or this. First, we need to take a bunch of photos of different angles in relation to the subject we are going to scan. We want the best image quality, which means max resolution and it's better to shoot wrong. Also, we need to make sure the images are sharp and of minimal motion blur. Usually, I would fly my drone in orbit around the subject and take photos from different heights. When you scan, you really want the subject evenly lit, which means you want to avoid direct lighting. So really, we do it under overcast weather. Then, I will import those photos into Lightroom to post-process them. Mainly, I just bring down the highlights, bring up the shadows, and increase the sharpness. Then, we export these images into Reality Capture to align them and reconstruct the 3D mesh. Once it's finished, export dense mesh. We call this process photogrammetry. If your phone has LiDAR, you can utilize it for 3D scanning using an app called Polycam. You just need to follow the instructions to cover different angles, and the app will automatically calculate the model for you. Once it's finished, click download to get the 3D model. Unfortunately, you need to subscribe to Polycam Pro to get the FBX file. But don't worry, I have a workaround and I will show you in my workshop. In addition to these two methods, 3D Gaussian splitting and new readings views can also reconstruct 3D scenes. Let me show you how it works in Luma AI. First, you need to upload the images as a zip file to the website, and then it will take some time for Luma AI to process. Once it's done, you can preview the scene and download the Gaussian splats and new readings file. Please remember to install the plugin following the instructions on the website. Finally, we can import them into Unreal Engine to create some cinematics. Alright, we will have the files ready. But how do we utilize them to create our own artworks or cinematic videos? Please join my workshop from the link down below. I look forward to seeing you there.